few minutes ago, Bob Clark inter uh, interviewed the mayor of the city of Dallas, Mayor Earl Campbell. I think that tape is ready now, so let's take a look at that. Mr. Mayor, you know the mood of the people of Dallas as well as anyone tonight. What is the reaction of the citizens of this city to the assassination of President Kennedy? Well, the reaction this evening is one of shock, is one of grief. And it's one of, uh, they just can't believe it. Because with the, the tremendous outpouring of, of uh, warmth, uh, enthusiasm that was so manifest throughout the entire course of the uh, of the parade route today. Uh, and then when this thing happened, it's, it was just unbelievable. Your police force has done a magnificent job since the shooting this morning. Do you feel that the city did everything possible to give the president complete protection during his visit? There is no question whatsoever in my mind that every possible security precaution was taken. Every off-duty officer was called on to duty. We had several hundred reserves who were on duty. We had any several hundred uh, of the sheriff's department. And not only had they taken every precaution possible on their own, but uh, worked in very close collaboration with and under the supervision of the Secret Service. Uh, it was just one of those things that couldn't happen. But it did. Dallas has become something of a storm center of right-wing extremists in the last year or two. Do you think this could have contributed in any way to the assassination of the president? Uh, I don't want to point my finger at anyone in a case like this. Dallas has its uh, right-wing radical group. It has its left-wing radical group, just like other cities. Uh, I think that they are much more vocal than they are numerous. And I, I can't conscientiously ascribe this. Uh, this is not a time to point the finger at uh, anything except just the conscience of the nation as a whole. You don't think the type of incident that occurred here recently when Adlai Stevenson was spat upon after a Dallas speech could have contributed in any way to today's tragedy? Uh, I sincerely do not believe that it did, because while those people were guilty of uh, terribly bad behavior, uh, I don't think that any one of them involved in that uh, had any criminal intent, uh, nor would they be guilty of anything uh, uh, such as this. I, I can't uh, correlate the two at all. Mr. Mayor, thank you very much. Thank you for permitting me to be with you. A man who can eloquently sum up the feelings of what has occurred in Dallas, Texas today is the Dallas Mayor, Earl Cabell who uh, gave us this statement earlier tonight. So here is the mayor of Dallas, Earl Cabell, with a statement. Tonight, Dallas is shocked and stricken with grief because of the assassination of our president, John F. Kennedy. To no other guest in the history of Dallas has such a spontaneous and enthusiastic welcome been extended as was the case for our president. Yet, the irrational act of a single man has tragically marred the spirit generated in Dallas today. All possible security precautions were taken by our police force on their own and in collaboration with the Secret Service. It was a thing that, that could not happen, and yet it did happen. Still, this is not the time to single out for criticism any individual or any group not directly involved in this tragedy. This could only be the act of a deranged mind. And yet, each of us, in prayerful reflection, must search his heart and determine if through intemperate word or intemperate deed, we might have contributed in some fashion to the movement of this mind across the brink of insanity. Mrs. Cavill and I join our city in extending our sympathies to the Kennedy family and to say that our prayers are for them as they are for our new chief executive and our nation and the world.